Shalom, Shalom, Israel, coming back at you. Uh, giving all praise, honors, and glories to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweshai, Bashim Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and all the teachers out there pushing this word and truth with truth and sincerity. Especially now, risk your lives to do so. May you be of the elect. Shalom to all the Akim and Akwath out there listening and learning. <coughs> you Israelites, so called Negroes, Hispanic, Native, and Seminole Indians, who are the true children of Israel. As well as you speckled bird, the Israelites that look like, act like, and take on the customs of all these heathen nations. Alright, so to you I say Shalom. Uh, we just going to speak on uh, uh, a video post, post Malone, alright, Vocab Malone just did, alright. Um, but uh, before we get to that, you know, this this video is uh, brought to you in the power and the spirit of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, Yahweh being the true name of our Father, the God of the Bible, the God of the Israelites, Bashim meaning coming in the name, and Yahweh Shai being the only begotten Son of Yahweh, who the world eagerly calls by the name of JC. So uh, this video, uh, vocab Malone just did. All right, he basically made a video <coughs> to point out from what I can gather from what I've received. From viewing this video is uh, a few things. Those that he finds to be a threat to himself um, by by the truth, and then <clears throat> threat by uh, the uh, quantity, I guess, in congregation, a following. Right. So there's uh, a, a sway of influence. All right, and then he has uh, basically a, a bunch of uh, additives, all right, in, in his video to, you know, just to fill the page. So he it doesn't look like he's trying to come after a, a one or a, a few people, right? So this video he made, he got all these different Israelite, Hebrew Israelite camps, all right? And the first three that he mentioned right off the bat, Right, he mentioned, uh, I believe, IUIC first, um, right, which are known for their militant type look. All right, definitely, uh, I, I'm pretty sure one of them was in the Marine Corps, just by the way he calls this cadence. Uh, fire, you know, from a video I watched a while back, right, just the way he called off that cadence, that's that's definitely Marine, but nonetheless, so there's that, and then you have, uh, you know, following. What did he say after that was, uh, uh, he said Great Millstone, all right? And uh, well, everybody knows about Great Millstone, all right? Great Millstone not only has 100% truth, but, you know, and that's not even just my opinion, all right? It's just what it is, but also uh, it's a heavy influence because people are actually getting that truth. And you can't gain, say, the, the Lord. So, you know, that go, that just goes without say. Mic drop. But um, mm -hmm. as well as, uh, and that's pretty much his major threat. But then following behind that, he put up Sakari. Okay, Sakari, uh, and, you know, and, and they've been waxing. They've been waxing, you know, <laughs> pretty bad. All right, over some time now. But uh, they also have. As as you know, as Malone just said, that they have uh, probably close just behind or behind Great Millstone and IUIC, right? Which is, are pretty large, uh, but fewer of Great Millstone because you know, for us, it's about quality, not quantity. And uh, you, so you got Sakari. He he mentioned third. Okay, Sakari has a pretty large following. All right, plus you know they uh, influence people by the basically bringing the world into the truth, mixing the two. All right, so you got a lot of worldly ass people that that you know they like that. That's appealing to them, so they draw to that. All right, just like you got those that appeal to the flashy, the flashiness and the the militia type. Uh, and matching garments from IUIC, okay? But people are drawn to Great Millstone because Great Millstone has the truth, and that is one of the biggest threats 
Now, I say all that to say just this. He didn't want to put Great Millstone first because that's that's admitting right off the bat that's his main enemy that he's talking about. All right. And I'm just speaking as a man, but it, it makes sense because, again, Great Millstone has the truth 100%. So he mentions those. All right. Those three. Then he follows off with all these other people like who really knows about any of these other groups. But he had the, the point is he had much to say about all those other groups. He really didn't have much to say about IUIC. He didn't have nothing to say about Great Millstone. He didn't really have much to say about Sakari. But he had so much to say about those fillers. Right? Because he know he can't. He, those are his, his most, uh, the most threat to him. All right? But it's, it's for what? To get ready for, uh, you know, the persecutions that's coming. And so vocab is, he's scared, man. He's trying to find all kinds of ways to uh, get people to, to, you know, hear his his final plea before the judgment comes, all right, in a lawyer sense, <laughs> all right, to, to argue uh, his argument, all right. But it's not going to work. It's not going to work. You know, no matter you turn to the left, turn to the right, y'all judgment is coming. You can't, you can't go against what the Lord has already written out. All right, but nonetheless, we're just going to pull up some scriptures uh, talking about what's going on. All right, just some, just a few scriptures. Uh, this is right off the bat. I'm going to have to plug my phone in soon. In Salakia, I got a little bit of a cold, so if I sound like Steve Urkel, it is what it is. This word has to get out. All right, the sheep are hungry. This is uh, Psalm uh, 83, all right, and verse 3. It says, They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. All right, who, what is it, thy, thy hidden ones? All right, hidden ones goes into treasure, all right, Hit the, the Lord's treasures. Okay, so they. this is what vocab does. He's trying to take some type of craft, crafty counsel. Against us, you know, then you you know, you got us making videos and they take down brother's video for talking the truth, but they keep up all kinds of nonsense and folly over the internet with all kinds of likes, shares, okay, uh, comments, whatever the case may be. But when it comes to this truth, you know, they they tell us we get a warning and right off the bat, you know, here's a strike down for a week, here's another strike down for two weeks. Third one, you terminate it, and it's all for because we're telling the truth about stuff. What, am I there for your enemy because I tell you the truth? I guess so. Oh, well, the truth is what it, what it is. The truth hurts, all right? But nonetheless, all right, this goes in. This is Psalm 83 and 3 again. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. That's the Lord's treasures, all right? That's the Lord's people, all right? Um... <clears throat> All right, the Lord's people or his 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 treasures. Okay. Uh goes into All right, this is Psalm 135 and verse 4. All right. For the Lord Yahweh hath chosen Jacob, all right? Jacob Later became uh, Israel, all right, the, uh, the the father of many nations. I mean, the uh, the father of the twelve, his twelve children, which are you know, which is Israel, all right. So like not to be confused with Abraham, all right. But yeah, so Jacob later becomes Israel, all right. His his twelve sons are the, are the twelve tribes, all right. But it says Psalm one thirty five and four for the Lord Yahweh. Had chosen Jacob unto himself and Israel for his peculiar treasure. All right, so going back into the you know the first precept pulled out, they taking uh, crafty counsel against the Lord's treasure. All right, his hidden ones, his treasure. Okay, and now we know who the Lord's treasure is. It's it's the Israelites. All right, 
But then, all right, he says peculiar treasure. So let's go lock it. Go into what is peculiar. All right, pull it up. All right, peculiar goes into uh, characteristics of only one person, group, or thing. All right, and we saw what the Lord thinks of his people. All right, and we're, he said he's in the midst of Israel, none else, obviously of, of one people, right, of no one else. Of, uh, second uh, definition, different from the usual, all right, set apart or normal. It says special, particular, all right, point being special, all right, the Lord finds us as special, all right, where else, where else have we heard this? All right, let's go to uh, Deuteronomy 14. And verse, start at verse 1. Ye are the children of the Lord, Yahweh, your power. Talking about the Israelites. Ye shall not cut yourselves, nor make any baldness between your eyes for the dead. All right, not supposed to follow no Hamite nonsense. All right, but here's the point. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord Yahweh thy power, and the Lord Yahweh hath chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself, right? Special, uh, 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 to be set apart, okay? And all the other definitions we read of that. Above all the nations that are upon the earth. So the Lord is talking about the Israelites, and the Israelites are above all people. So there is no such thing as equality when it comes to the Lord, his people, and the rest of these nations. All right? We are above all people. It says it right here. All right? <laughs> and we can read this again. And uh, I'm kind of getting off the point, but I'm just kind of making a point at the same time. Uh, this is Deuteronomy 7 and verse 6. All right? The Lord is only dealing with, and he's only talking to. Deuteronomy 7 verse 6, for thou art a holy people unto the Lord Yahweh thy power, right? He's, he's the power and the Lord of the Israelites. The Lord Yahweh thy power hath chosen thee to be a special, special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. All right. So again, they're taking uh, crafty counsel against the Lord's people. All right. Plain as day. And, uh, you know, it's just not going to fly. All right? Because, again, this is what it comes down to. Second Corinthians 13 and 8. For we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. No matter what you say, no matter what you do, the Lord's counsel is going to stand. All right? Everything that, you, that you're saying, everything that you're, you're trying to do, everything that is happening in the world, it's all on account of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. None, none else, nobody else, no thing else. It's only Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. So, hey man, it is what it is. You know, you find us to be a threat. We're not the threat. The threat is, you know, that the Lord is coming to get that ass, man, and you're scared. So you, you know, you pull it out all stops. We get it. We understand. You know, whatever happens is what happens, man. It's, it's all the Lord's will. At the end of the day. Alright. So hey. Just wanted to touch on that man. That video was. <laughs> Alright vocab. You know what I'm saying. We get it. So uh, that's it man. Lord willing. This was edifying. Giving all praise and honor. To, glories to Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashim uh, Rekakadash. Double honors to the apostles. And the elders of Great Millstone. And all the teachers out there. Pushing his word truth. Or truth and sincerity. Especially I'll risk your lives to do so. May you be of the elect. Stay prayed up and repent, not just for this lifetime, but your past lives as well. And with that, shalom.